дорогі гості, спонсори та друзі та шанувальники художника цього вечора. Вітаю вас від імені Ради директорів Українського національного музею. Сьогодні ми маємо приємність вдруге презентувати в нашому музею картини молодого місця нашого Чикаго Володимира Ільчишина. Honored guests, sponsors, friends and fans of this evening's featured artists, it is my pleasure to welcome you on behalf of the Ukrainian National Museum Board of Directors. Tonight we have the pleasure of once again hosting the young artist who was born in Ukraine but raised in Chicago's Ukrainian village. He attended St. Nicholas Cathedral School, graduated from St. Ignatius College Prep, and now is in his second year at the Illinois Institute of Technology School of Architecture. He, is, he occupies his free time with extracurricular activities, which probably helped develop his persona. He serves as an altar boy, dances in the Ukrainian dance ensemble Hromovetsya, he began his art lessons at the Ukrainian art school Barvinok, studied with Yulia Tkachuk, um, Anatoly Khmara, and later Walter Monasteretsky and Father Jim Warwald. He is a member of the American Ukrainian Youth Association, SUM. As the saying goes, a tight schedule keeps one off the streets and out of trouble. So one can only admire the diligence of this young man. We are delighted to introduce Volodymyr Ilchishin. <laughs> Additionally, we have the pleasure and enjoyment of live music by Volodymyr's brother Vasil at the piano. Vasil, where are you? And a big welcome to the parents, Oksana and Bohdan Ilchesine. <laughs> who stand behind their educated, talented, and handsome young men. Also, we want to recognize our sponsor of this evening's event, MB Financial, Pavla Bandriuski, regional president of MB Financial, and Irene Suwata, branch manager, and express our gratitude <laughs> for the funding which we, which we received. As I mentioned earlier, Volodymyr, in addition to schooling, participated in community activities, and numerous individuals helped form Volodymyr's life. Today, we will have the pleasure of hearing from several of these folks. So sit back and enjoy. First, I would like to introduce Walter Monasteretsky, Pan Volodymyr Monasteretsky, the local Ukrainian artist and Volodymyr's teacher. Хочу сказати, що сьогодні це велика подія, просто я так скажу, тому що в життя йде нова особовість, нова індивідуальність. Це американський художник українського погодження Володимир Ільчишин. І я хочу підкреслити, що сьогодні ви, звичайно, знайдете роботу, якою, яка вам сподобається. І придбаєте її. І ви не тільки підтримаєте молодого художника, ви зробите інвестицію добру. Тому що майбутнє за Володимиром Ільчишином – прекрасне майбутнє. І бажаю вам сьогодні мати добрий вечір. Поспілкуватися, подивитися роботи. Всього вам доброго. Володя, вітаю. And now I would like to ask uh, very reverend Oleg Krivokulski, pastor of Saints Volodymyr and Olha. Парафія Святих Володимира і Ольги в Чикаго висловлює щире признання і поди в нашому молодому парафіянинові і членові братства обходу храм Володимиру Ільчишинові з нагоди вже його другого мистецької виставки. І бажаємо багато далі успіхів у мистецькій праці, в навчанні та особистому житті. 
На все добре, хай благословить Господь і на многі і благоє лід. Дякую вам. principal of St. Nicholas Cathedral School. He was an altar server. He played on the volleyball team. He was always helpful and extremely responsible. So I just wanted to say for me, it is an honor and a joy to see one of our students, one of our Vipusniki, reach such heights and to do it in such a humble and graceful manner. You are the way you are, honest, kind, helpful, and of course, you know they say it takes a village to raise a child or a student. It took a community, but especially it took two very fine parents, Pan Oksana and Pan Bogdan. Tonight is a tribute to you. Danusia Palachak, she is a dancer in the Hromovice Ensemble and the daughter of the artistic director of Hromovice. Дорогі гості, дорогі друзі, в імені українського танцювального ансамблю Громовиця, дозвольте мені подякувати управі Українського народного музею за можливість висловити кілька слів та привітати одного із наших танцюристів Володимира Євчишина. Вол. Words cannot begin to describe what a pleasure and honor it has been to watch you grow over the years. Since the moment you first stepped into the Prava room, it was clear that you were going to be a perfect fit in our large, loving, and sometimes dysfunctional Hromovitsa family. <laughs> For you, it was a seamless transition as your talent, passion, and love for Ukrainian dancing was evident for everyone to see. With every hand movement, prisitka, turn, leap, and even fancy footwork, anyone watching can feel the power and pride emanating from deep inside your soul. Like a true Kazakh, you tackle any challenge that is put in front of you, oftentimes asking, why can't we make this step harder, bigger, more powerful? As a teacher and a fellow dancer, I am blessed to be able to work with such a loyal, compassionate, and talented artist. Today, however, we celebrate your artistry in yet another medium, canvas. As I look around the room, I cannot help but think that I am looking into yet another facet of your extraordinary talent. With every brushstroke, you are able to vividly capture a beautiful moment in time. And after today's exhibit, I am confident that our entire community will want one of your coveted works gracing their walls, as everyone is captivated by your talent, just as they are when you are on stage. Our Hromovicha family is so very proud of you. And we wish you the best in years to come. But Volo, as you know very well, our work as artists is never quite done. And with that said, I will see you at Prava tomorrow morning. <laughs> 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 James Warwell, faculty member of St. Ignatius College Prep, and an art and photography teacher since 1975. Well, it is indeed an honor and a pleasure to be here. Uh, I was asked to say a few words. So, word one, wow. <laughs> yeah. Word two, wonderful. 
and so thank you. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you a story, which has absolutely nothing to do with art. I don't know, do you have heroes in your lives? Do you have heroes in your lives? I have a lot of heroes. Uh, but the problem is, you'll never see uh, their faces up on a wall, and an icon, or something like that. One of my favorite heroes was an anarchist, an Italian anarchist, who hated Mussolini. And, and so that's what my friend here has been able to do, to touch that glory, to touch the colors, the mystery, the wonder of life, and somehow transplant that onto a, you know, into a painting that we can all look at and we can all appreciate. But don't just get hung up on the paintings. Try to look through those. Find out what it was that really captivated him, that made him want to really do them. And if you can catch a bit of that spark, your life will be better, day by day by day. And so, he's one of my heroes. And. Uh, Good evening, everyone, and Bolo, uh, thank you for inviting us. Uh, I'm here on behalf of the Illinois Institute of Technology. I have uh, Professor Breslow has joined us as well, and there are uh, there are a good handful or two of young architects out here to uh, to support Bolo on this uh, great day. But uh, I want to tell you, uh, the speakers before me, it was it was very uplifting uh, to hear these uh, stories about Bolo. You told us about a Bolo that we don't really know. Um, we uh, we don't know him as a son or a brother or a community member, and many of us didn't know him as an artist until uh, this evening. So, Volo, thank you again for inviting us. Being an architect is being an architect is a little challenging, and uh, some of my favorite buildings in Chicago and uh, some of my favorite buildings around around the world. Um, if you think about some of these masterpieces, uh, a lot of a lot of the architects have a big challenge because they're looking for that they're looking for that perfect sculpture or that perfect piece of art to go right down in the plaza or right down in the main lobby. And if you think of some of the great buildings in Chicago, um, the Daly Center for one, um, the Picasso sculptures there and other great Chicago buildings have, have Matisse or Calder uh, helping the architect out, helping, helping the architect make their wonderful uh, project something even better. And as the old saying goes, you learn something new every day. What, what I learned today is that our young architect, Peter Volo, who we all know as an architect, when he becomes, uh, when he becomes a practicing architect someday, he's not going to have to sub that job out. <laughs> he's going to be able to do it himself, all himself. And Volo, I'm very proud to be a professor. Uh, everyone here at the, from the Illinois Institute of Technology uh, shares in that. And uh, congratulations on a wonderful show. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, as you know, MD Financial Bank has been a longtime sponsor with, uh, with uh, and events at the Ukrainian National Museum, and we're particularly pleased and proud to have the honor of being the sponsor of tonight's exposition, The Creative Works of the Young Talent of Vladimir Ilchishin. And in particular, on behalf of the Ukrainian American Youth Association, our board and members were very proud of Volodymyr, who is an active and longtime member of our organization. He currently serves as a youth counselor, and in that particular role, he sets a tremendous example for today's Ukrainian-American youth in our community. 
And not just the ones who are active in Sur, but the ones who see him as he performs on the stage with Romovetsia, the ones who see him every Sunday along with his brother Vasil, serving as altar boys in the church, and the ones who now will come to the Ukrainian National Museum and see what tremendous talent he has been graced by God's will to have and be able to share with us. Today, his family, his friends, our entire Ukrainian community here in Chicago are very proud of what he has been able to accomplish so far. We wish him tremendous successes in the future, both in his creative life and his active life as a Ukrainian American. Thank you. our focus from Volodymyr to Vasil. And I ask Vasil for a musical interlude. 